You know what this is? It's perfectly capable. It's actually a pretty good hand. That's yeah. what that is. Why is that all messed up? It's nice because you get to go two drop and then two drop chancery. Mm. You don't want to go three drop chancery? Well, we can't go three drop chancery. We need a little land, right? No. no it's, if we go turn one basic. Yeah, not chancery. Two. I mean, do you want to just not play? Oh, well, you're relying on us having something to invert namelessly. Well, no, we could. We have... This is a three drop. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? That'd be really good as a two drop. <laughs> That's why I said it's basically a root wallet. Except the ability isn't as good, but you can do it multiple times. Basically. It's just a different card. <laughs> it's just a different card, Dennis. Also, it's got Changeling. It's Root Wallet with Changeling that has different abilities. Hey, we have those. We have two and a half of those, in fact. Perfect. So we go... Blood from Vampire? Probably. This doesn't actually do anything. Because that Blood from Vampire can actually attack for one next turn. Mm-hmm. Or we invert... That. Damn it! You. So this is the guy. I'm inverting it out of hate. Yeah, uh, what? <laughs> you can just soul shift it, but yeah, you just have to invert it. I think. I want him. I don't want this to soul shift one of these. Mm. Fire it off. Maybe we have all his nameless inversions. Maybe his deck is last last. We, we first and well. third picked it. We didn't yeah. see any ever again. I don't think we got all his nameless inversions. <laughs> I didn't say it was likely. It's fair. I did. Uh, probably <laughs> should have bounced a planes there. Why? I don't know. There's no actual reason. <laughs> you use the term probably kind of loosely. Yeah. I had a reason in my head and then realized it was stupid. Was it that we could cast a Baron? Yeah, 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 for, for two? Mm. <laughs> That's okay. That'll happen. Stop it. His deck seems like a pile of shit as well, if it's any consolation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on, really, but that's fine. Do we arrest a guild mage? That's actually not that bad, actually, yeah. Pr pretty <clears> good. <throat> I don't mind that at all. He can't, he... he can't just mortar pot it, though. That's true, that makes it not as good. O-ringing it works. Yeah, but then we're O-ringing a guild mage. Yeah, do you think we just play changeling? And then he hits us with a discard, probably. We that probably does something, to be honest. Yeah, so Changeling seems fine here. I don't mind arresting it. <coughs> arresting it isn't very good. I mean, that, this, that's always literally always going to be the case with this. Because we're not going to O-ring this. So. Mm. I don't mind arresting this. Okay. But, if, I mean, if he wants to spend two mana to ping us, still a one for one. And this stops him going. Oh wait, it wasn't. It wasn't going to it. We stopped him going. Island draw card. Mm. Hey, there's the thief of hope. Thieves of hope. That's a pretty good combo. Aha! We just do that. He can't soul shift anything. No. Nope. And then we can also play. We can't also play. Uh, I'll play Glenhawk Island or something. Yeah. We've got, together, the two of us would have a pretty solid deck, I think. Mm. <laughs> These two decks together. If, if, if we just said, hey, the winner takes the rest of the deck. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I wonder if he's mono black. Nope. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's... Can't over We yet. can't stop that. I mean, all that actually happens is he gets a Thief of Hope. That's not a big deal. Like, It's kind of... Oh, he also gets his guild mage back. Yeah, if he thinks of it. If he does that correctly. So play the... the Changeling, yeah. And hit him with the bird. And leave that pump, yeah. I like that. Okay, I hate our deck. Thank you. I was optimistic, now I just hate it. Devouring Greed's looking pretty shite. Currently goes for four. Yeah. He thought of it. He did think of it. We didn't. Well, I mean, we didn't know the movement strider. We could have could could guessed, him. yeah. No, you couldn't do anything about that, no. Except O ringing the guild mage instead of arresting it. Then he just gives it polite in response. Oh, you mean back then? Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's correct, though. What do we discard? <laughs> it's just discard. No! All right. Knocked over a bottle. Card doesn't do anything. It drains for four. 
That's not that bad. We have to sack our, our, our uh, only creature in order to do that as well. We can send in, because I'll, I'll take a double block. You know what sucks? I knew he had that, and it still hurt. <laughs> hey oh. It's a little awkward. I think we still send. Do you? Yeah. I don't think we just make a bunch of flyers and hit him with this flyer and try to kill him that way. Now we can animate this. And then we still have white, white. Yeah, then we're only tapping a black. So we can, but we can't pump. But if we pump, that's okay. So if well. we trade two for one, then that's fine. Sure. If we trade one, if we eat one of his guys, which you won't allow to happen, that's also fine. So I, I think threat of activation is going to get us through here, and we're going to get to play the spectral. I mean, then we're getting pretty far ahead. Battle of the bad decks. All right, let's. How do you feel about O ringing his Thief of Hope? If he does block me to pump once. I He's guess. already got one in the bin. I also don't want to make us discard a procession. We, we're going to discard the O ring or the procession. Like. Yeah, looks like the O ring. Can't pump and undo it, can we? No. No. Nope. We could O ring the Guild Mage and then Spectral Procession next turn. That's the best card advantage play. Sure. Making three power flyers though. When he's on eleven, it's not bad. We can attack for five in the air every turn. Mm. He's only got one card in hand, it's unlikely. Well you can mortar pod them down if he gets a soul shift chain going, but that's a lot of work. He needs to top deck the scuttling down or something. I don't mind O ring this I think that's just an acceptable play. I think I think that's I, I think I like the card advantage of that play. Okay. And we still have pump up for no real In which reason. case we should have pumped. We should have pumped, but... That does actually matter. Oh, it might not matter. It actually it actually almost certainly won't matter. Because he's going to be more fighting spirits. He's also going to be gaining life. I should have tapped that differently so they could reanimate our tall guy a little bit. doesn't really do anything. Alright. That's fine. That's not the relevant creature. Yeah, it's not a big deal at all. I mean, he's just using it. And he's going to go fetch an island, I guess? No, no, the planes. Wafer's Wobble in a two-color deck seems odd. We can also... Um, we, have, we have our own Moonlit Striders, so that arrest is not necessarily permanent. No. Plus the Moonlit Strider gets back on the Amazon version. So, Procession... Activate Glintalk Idol. Activate Glintalk Idol. Perfect. There's no good way to do this. Uh, to, yeah, no, you're, you're tapping an extra mana, whatever you do. This is a clock. I agree. I think this is fine. We've got one garden, man. You know where to be sick now? Or fucking devouring greed. Sure. It would, in fact, be a win. That's a problem. Oh, not immediately. Not immediately, no. And by the time it becomes a problem, it's not really going to be a problem. Very wise. Mm. Wise words. Fortify would be nice. That just... would just be lethal. Well, you can pop one off, can you? That's a sick draw. Guttling Death gets back Nameless Inversions? Yeah. Yep, fine. So, swing first, I think. If only it was Aura Arcane. That might be a little bit... Too good? Um, I don't know if it'd be too good. I, I have a big problem with the whole Soul Shift mechanic. Why? Because I really hate mechanics like that, that are like Spirits or Arcane spells, you know, that like... Uh, was, there's a word for them. Parasitic mechanics. They only work within their own set. Yeah. We might have him here. I think we do. He's, he needs to gain life. There's a good chance where he can gain. Good chance. There's a good, good chance, chance he does gain life. Well, he can also just mortify something. Like that. That's real good. Oh, that that is scary. It's not scary. I mean, he gets back as two two. We have no cards for him to make us discard. He can only mm. use it at sorcery speed. This is gonna gain him a. Do you feel like if he has the um, if he's playing the the stupid. Bobble anyway. Do you think he just runs an island for the guild mage? Like I would if, if you were in that spot. I, would, I wouldn't. I would either not run the guild mage or not run the bobble. Mm. But if you're gonna run them both, yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Hmm. 
Should we just bash with this and see what happens with it? No, we're gonna get back something. Moonlit Strider would be a fantastic draw because then we get to go Moonlit Strider. Mm. That's not bad either. Try it. Fire it off. Fire it off for. Well, this way we get to hit the Moonlit Strider. Yeah, okay. We get to cast I'll buy that. It. Although we, we want to activate the Glyphal Battle. Fortify, though. Yep, okay. Do we give him an extra key counter? No. Sure. I think we don't. Two lights don't like the matter. Sickle Ripper not actually that bad. Not good. Just a thing, though. Uh, Glintalk Idol Swing. Yep, plus we can cast, cast Nameless Inversion and our Sickle Ripper. Mm -hmm. The, the Moonless Strider would have been sick because we could have got Moonless Strider, knock off the Arrest. Yeah. And then when the thing dies, we get the Moonless Strider back. Tap the Idol? Yeah. It's reasonable. I think we do bash with the Scuttling Death. I imagine what happens is he blocks, sacks, blocks with Kami and sacks it to kill the Oblivion Ring. Right. That would be my play. He didn't block, he just did it. Is he going to block with the Guild Mage? That seems bad. That seems worse than blocking with the Kami. Yeah. Oh, this way the, the death does die. <laughs> I'm pretty poetic today, aren't I? Yeah, that was pretty good. Do we kill the Thief of Hope with the Nameless Inversion or the Baku? The Thief of Hope kind of the big deal here, isn't it? Uh, yes, probably. Although they both... I mean, casting an Arcane Spell or a Spirit of Arcane Spell prevents one damage with the either. Well, but no, Baku though. prevents two damage. Only one. No, he taps... One... He oh, taps, he taps, he taps the, the idol. idol. So do we kill the Baku then? Does he have anything to soul shift with the thief? <laughs> Sorry for the horrible noise. He's the Kami. So we probably kill the Baku. Because the Kami kills this. Mm -hmm. No, it's only enchantments. Yeah, but we, I think we still kill the Baku because then he doesn't get value. Okay. He can get value by sacking it to the mortar pot anyway, but like... Is there a reason to do it now? There's no reason to do it now. Well, well when else would we do it? When he has his turn and can play something else relevant that we might want to kill. Sure, I guess. So if, just, we're, if we're going to be killing this, there is a reason to, but if we're killing the back then no. So we'll just drop the Sickle River. Yeah. I think we have him, to be honest. He's on three. <laughs> yeah, he can do some shenanigans with Mortar Pod and stuff, but I think ultimately he's in some trouble. Scuttling death. I think now might be the time to kill the Baku. Well, there's no reason to. There's no, but the Baku doesn't do anything until our turn, so we can kill it till We can kill it on instead. Yeah, okay. But, uh, well, I mean, if we do it now, he can't tap down the Sickle Ripper. I think we have to kill the Thief of Hope, though. We don't want to kill the Thief of Hope. But he's gonna. he can just sack the Scuttling death, kill a spirit, get back a but Kami, cast a Kami, gains more He doesn't have that much mana, he's dead. No, he's not. He just, he's, he's sacking this is free. He sacks this, he gets back the Kami, he casts that, and he goes back up to five. How does he go back up to five? Because of the Thief of Hope. He sacked the Thief of Hope. No, he hasn't. In your scenario, he sacked the Thief of Hope. Oh, right. He sacks the Scuttling Death. How does he sack... Okay, sure. Sacks the Scuttling Death, kills the Spirit, goes back up to five. Casts the, when he casts his Kami. Back who's going to prevent more damage than the Thief of Hope is. I guess. So kill it now before we can tap down the Sickle Ripper. I mean, we're not blocking with this anyway. Why not? Because we want to be able to attack with it. Okay. I'm prepared to admit I'm wrong on this, but I feel like... No, you're right, because this prevents two damage per shot, whereas this one prevents one damage per shot. It mm. makes sense. Yeah. It's a spirit, sure. It's like his Kami. Cast his Kami. Gets like his Moonless, right? We can't cast that, though. Unless he has a land. In which case, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? If he has a land and plays the Moonlit Strider. Do we hit the Thief of Hope now? What happens if we hit the Thief of Hope now? He got back the Moonlit Strider. If we hit the Thief of Hope now. Oh no, then he still has the Baku. But if he has a. Okay, hold on. If we hit the Thief of Hope now, he sacks it in response, kills another spirit. We don't have lethal. But we will have a lot less than lethal if he plays Moonlit Strider. If he plays Moonlit Strider, he can still do this to kill something. Yeah, so I think I think we have to inversion the Thief of Hope now. We should have done it previously. Then. If we were going to do it, but we, we thought he was going to get back the Kami. I forgot he had a Moonlit Strider. What does Moonlit Strider actually do for him? 
Uh, soul shifts into the Thief of Hope. Not this turn. It'll be another life gain trigger. He'll go back up to five. So will the, so will the Kami. That's true. And we knew he could cast the Kami. Yeah. Do you think we still make the same play, so? Kill the Baku? Yeah. Okay. So, we're, so we, there's still no reason to do it now. So we have to assume he has a land here. There it is. We went to combat. <laughs> If we kill this now, he won't get any. Oh. If we block it, that's fine. I'm blocking that. Yeah, do it. We're gonna, there's a shot here to kill um the Thief of Hope before he gets the light game trigger off it. If we just kill Thief of Hope now. Well, after damage, obviously. So During the damage step, yeah. Or in combat. If we do it now. He now doesn't get the life game trigger and he just dead. Kills, he can kill, well, he can kill the spirit. Oh, okay, so he's not actually dead. But he's certainly much closer to that. <clears throat> he didn't use the mortar pod. No, he sacked it. Oh, he did use it. Oh, he did. Oh. Yeah. How else would he be dead? Yeah. The nameless inversion? Well, that's, that's on the stack. Oh, sorry. Okay. Fortify still lethal. He's got a moonless rider now. Yeah. Makes next turn problematic for us. Yeah. Oh. Kami. Okay. Mortar pod. Sure. Kills the last spirit. That doesn't really change very much. That's a great draw. That is fine. Chancery is a bit awkward here. Oh. Ah. You just need to waste some mana, that's all. Yeah. It's funny we drew the gambit, we didn't even use the chancer. In retrospect, I think it might have been better too. Oh. Why why is that surprising? Why wouldn't you just do that? Mm, I don't know. Apparition? Like this thing is just as good in the bin as it is on the table, to be honest. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Pop his own arrest? Yeah, right. Moonless Trider. He can't stop the Glenhawk Idol. He can stop, he can kill the spirit, but he can't stop the idol. So go with everything? Yeah, I'm gonna play another lands, we can actually this twice. Mm -hmm. with that we could have anyway. Yeah, but this is a this bothers me more than it should. Okay, I, I think there's more advantage there than by having a card in hand. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. The apparition doesn't do a lot because you can just sack either of these things. Mm -hmm. But this is a like. What's the plan here? Nameless or something. You need to top deck that. You know? Okay. He wouldn't say, yeah, it's nameless. Otherworldly journey. That works too. Does come back with a plus one plus one counter, doesn't it? Doesn't matter though. Why not? It's on one. Well, I suppose. Makes it harder to mortar pod that? Mm, couldn't mortar pod it anyway. Makes it, um. Scuttling death plus mortar pod proof. It makes it, um, Thief of Hope proof, life game proof. Mm. That's a desperation play right there. I mean, he was dead if he didn't do that. It was the last card in his yeah. hand. Like, the only way the, what he does now is he sacrifices this, goes to get the thief of goes to get the thief of Opia. or concedes. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no. How do you feel like Tereshi's grasp against him? Mortapod and rest. That's pretty good. That's enough things. And we get to cut some junk, like a sign and blood. One of these sign and bloods, yeah. Yeah, okay. The non foil one, obviously. Gains us some life as well. Yep. I like that a lot. Okay, we're up a game. Strictly speaking, strictly speaking, undefeated. This is this is much more than I was expecting. I, we expect us to win zero games. I expect this perfect. To... It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I don't think I don't know if it's a the mulligan. Five though. lander, sort of five and a half lander. Really. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon? His deck doesn't seem very quick. Yeah, I think this might be might not be the worst. Okay, I don't think it's good. Like, 
I think it's probably on par with their average six, but I don't know if I want to roll those dice, you know. That's mm. not the best. That's not what I'm hoping for, won't I? Should have played one at planes. Oh, we just bent that one back, I guess. Why should we play the planes? For spectral procession. Ah, I see. Is that a reason to not play the chancery? Yes, but... Uh, I'm already played the swamp, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Cool. Chancery into... Baku. Baku into Strider. Strider. Great. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's literally all his deck did, and he yeah. almost beat us. No, well, he, oh, yeah. he held on for quite I a while. About this. <laughs> I, I don't mind discarding a land here to be entirely honest. <laughs> I forgot about the old Ben Slam on the draw. Right, Rob. Hey, the mirror. Cool, cool. We get to proliferate a key counter. Sure, sure. How do we lose? Uh, well, <laughs> let me tell you a tale. Tell you a story all about how my life got flipped and upside down. So I'd like to commit and just sit right there. Soul Eater? This is just the, the, the mirror! Uh, Strider? Uh, Stop. 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 You don't appreciate it. Ha! <laughs> you play a three drop on turn four. What a chungus. What? So we're, we're fine with trading off the Baku here. No, we're not. Our back is better than his. But we have Strider to Soul Shift to back. Touchy. I'm sorry? Well, you know. Like, like when you get a point in fencing? Oh. Touche. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Top target creature. Does it... All right. Sacrifice it to give it protection from artifact. No. <laughs> It's a white ish. It's a white ish ability. Why did you do that? So you can do that. But then we're gonna do that. Will we block? No. Okay. Because if you play something, we tap it with a key counter after proliferating. Mm-hmm. Oh. What? <laughs> Seems like a bad race for you. Does he have another worldly journey? Maybe. Hello. Again, no nice way of doing this. Although we can guess for four. That's fine. Like, it's just tapping the chancery. Um, and we still leave Baku up. Do we bash first? Just in case. Can't do anything in instant speed, so I don't know. <laughs> We're encasing. There's no flash creatures in the set, is there? No. Because Snapcast from Hitch isn't in the set. <laughs> well, it's too, or too recent. Yeah. That's arbitrary, though. They decided that? That's yeah. fair. Yeah. It's. Uh, do you know it's now $83? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's because it's the bottleneck. Everything else got cheaper. You know? Yeah. Tokens can just candors. You can proliferate those, right? Uh, you're thinking of populate. You're thinking of populate. <laughs> What's this? His journey? Is it just a small town girl? Shooting some b ball outside of the school and a couple of guys who are up to no good. I. Oh. I hate you. Did you see the um the request we had on Twitter? No. That our Patreon has a tier targeting. Oh, that's pretty good. Kill a spirit. We knew it was another worldly dream. Probably should have. If you're spending a card to kill one spirit. Well, he gets a key can or two. Fine. Yeah, someone requested that there be a Patreon tier mm -hmm. where we um open every episode with my rendition of Rap God, and I said we'd we'd look into it. This is us looking into it. This is the production meeting. Uh huh. What do you think? I, I, I give me your rendition of Rap God. Let's You've heard it before. Yeah, no, I kind of, I, I want to hear it again now. No, we're gonna cut to it here. I'm gonna splice. No, it. no, 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 please, just, just go, know, just go. Right. There's nothing else going on. It's a six and a half minute song. What do you mean? Do you know the whole thing? No. Okay. What? I don't love the aggressive, but you know, mm. did we just tap his Baku now? No. Because we got because we're winning the race. All right. We tap Soul Eater on instep. But I want to proliferate this. But if he, he, we don't want to let it get to his turn so we can use the Soul Eater. We want to win the race. Ah, our spirit comes back. The plus one plus one counter. Oh, right. This seems... Like, this This lets us get in for six. Right. And play Soul Eater plus Grasp. Sure. <laughs> Alright. He's just showing us he doesn't have anything now, which is a little... Well, I guess in the cost three last minute. He just took us to have four minutes worth of stuff. 
Nice. That is for a bunch. Ten. We don't actually have lethal this We time. get the Baku back too, by the way, when this dies. But that's still not lethal, so I don't think we do it this turn. Do we gambit? No, I think we swing for six. I think we gambit first. Oh, we gambit first. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, Four? Well, we, we're probably just playing the Soul Eater, so if we do it... Have we got a land to play? We've already played a land. Okay, so do it for three. Ugh. Chantry's doing nothing! This whole... <laughs> it's the worst. Hello! You're a friend. Yeah, just throw that down. You and then we're, we're almost certainly lethal with the Devouring Green next turn, then. Gives us a key counter, too. Beauteous. It's not a word. It's kind of a word. In the sense that you said it. Mm hmm. And it's made of letters. Like a soup. <laughs> Alright. Do we tap his Did back? I miss count? I did miss count. Would we have killed him? Yes. No, we were one damage shorter than I thought. I thought we were attacking for six, we we're attacking for five. You're right. But we now have lethal. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just about. If he goes... Well, I mean, we still attack him. The Darian group by itself kills him. Currently, but he could go like the folk spell. But then he's dead because we hit him with the spirits. <laughs> Shut up! Board wipe? No. Dread drone. In fact, he's just, like, mega dead. <laughs> <laughs> mega dead. Might, might as well tap Is it. that, like, dead with a plus one plus one counter? Cast cost money. Gross, shut up. So we win? Aye. So you're, oh, he can pay two life, Dad. This doesn't work. <laughs> does it, what does tapping it do? Also, he pays two life to save one life. Yeah, so hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, by two is twelve. This is lethal. Plus, yeah, he can't instant speed with for no mana gain life, can he? I'm going to attack him with the spirits anyway. I mean, there's no real reason not to. You know what we're about to do? Win round Win one. Win fucking round one with your, Oh, this deck is so terrible. I'm a shit. Okay, look. His deck is worse. We have both halves of the same deck. Sure. And <laughs> so... Target player loses life, right? No, target player gains life and then the other one loses something weird like that. Yeah, okay, okay. No, you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Boo, 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 boo. Cool. Ugh. Oh, this persists. That's sick. <laughs> so don't soul shift it back. Yeah. Got hey, there. That was... Uh, mm, naysayer. Nay. This is good. To, what am I going to name this draft? Disaster piece? What's the Photoshop for that? Uh, it can't. It can't be a train oh, wreck again. Put us on. Put us on the uh, the art for spectral procession. <laughs> All right, I'm in. 